Hey guys, what's up? Um, I have quick funny story. I actually am like tearing the packet plastic off this beauty box. So I'll tell you a funny story that just came to my mind. Um, it was we were taking our last exam of the year. It was on the last day of school, and we were literally in class taking an exam. And these girls just like got out their phone and like put up the song Trap Queen and like played it as loud as they could. And my teacher was just sitting there like, like we were literally in the middle of an exam. Like it wasn't like we were waiting for the school year to get out. No, it was like literally, I mean, they weren't even done with their exam. And I'm like, girl, girl, I don't know. I just heard that song and it made me think of that moment. It was kind of funny. Um, and also I may or may not be wearing pants right now, but that is for me to know and for you to never find out. So that was a weird, different kind of intro. Uh, today is an unboxing of the summer Walmart beauty box. This is a quarterly box, so I will tell you what it is if you have forgotten. Um, it is a five dot well, it's a free subscription box, but you pay five dollars for the shipping, and it comes quarterly, so you get one four times a year, like based on the different seasons, and they are just beauty items. And, um, so I want a quick disclaimer about this box. I kind of got mad the last time I unboxed one of these boxes, and I was like, Ugh, I hate this box so much. I'm definitely unsubscribing. But I feel like I was watching some other YouTubers unbox the same box and to see if they got angry about it, too. But I feel like I was just looking at it from a different angle. Because I was looking at it as a makeup box when it's more of like a bath and body box, I guess. Um, and I always end up loving the products that I get in it. Like, they always, I don't know, I always end up, like, absolutely loving the products that I get. And they always last a really long time. And for $5, I mean, I was like, you know what? This box isn't so bad. It just needs a little loving. So, um, it says L'Oreal on the back of it. And I don't remember what it said on the back of the last one. And I don't remember if that related in any way, shape, or form to the box. But maybe there's some L'Oreal products in here. We'll open it up and we'll see. So, yeah, it's got this little help define your beauty, and there's a card in here, and it says, Walmart's beauty boxes have you covered all year long. The summer box provides you, it's literally, it says the same thing every time. So, if you guys want to look that up, be my guest. So, I'm just going to reach in here and grab something. The first thing I have is the Dove Go Fresh Revitalized Body Wash, uh, the Nutrient Moisture one, the Scent Mandarin and Tierra Flower. I have a love-hate relationship with these little bottles of this because I feel like I get samples of this body wash everywhere I go. And I love this body wash. It smells amazing. Like, it's, it smells orangey. It smells fresh. It smells great for summer. I love using it in the shower because it just like makes your entire shower smell like the body wash. And it's really moisturizing. Like, this nutrient moisture... They are not lying. Like, it moisturizes your body and you're like, Woo, my skin is soft in places I don't usually moisturize. Like, I don't know. What's a place? Your shoulders? I don't know about you. I don't moisturize my shoulders. I don't have time for that. So I'm like, ooh, shoulders are soft. That was a weird thing. But I've, I'm always like, I'll buy a full-size bottle after I finish this sample. And then I get another sample. So I've been running on samples of these for, like, ever. And these, surprisingly, like, they're not that big. They're about as big as my hand. But these last forever, like, three weeks. And I'm just like, dude. So, really excited that this is in here. I feel like every every Walmart beauty box I've ever done, I've gotten a Dove. Gotten a Dove thing. So, it's nice. Next thing in here is the Nivea Soft Moisturizing Cream for face, body, and hands. It's like one of those retro ones in the little tube, and then, oh, it's got a safety seal. Safety seals are good, but they're also annoying. Oh, this one came off easily. It's like just a, you can't really see because it's white, but it's like just a pasty kind of cream. It smells like a hospital, <laughs> but it's nice. It's like... I like it. I like it. Oh, Kelsey, stop looking at the box. I keep wanting to know what else is in here. Um, I like it. 
I can't picture what it smells like. It kind of smells like it's like a cross between a hospital and a field of flowers. So if you had like a field of flowers planted in the middle of a hospital, that's what this smells like. Hospitals actually freak me out. True story. I actually wanted to be a nurse. Um, because I always, all my life, like, I always thought that writing was never going to get me anywhere. People were always telling me, you know, writing is never going to get you anywhere. And even now, people tell me writing is never going to get me anywhere. Like, my brother's like, you know, do you just not want to make money? Or, and I'm like, dude, everything's going to work out. But, um, before that, I wanted, I had a very practical dream of being a nurse. And, um, I realize now how stupid that was. Because every time I go into a hospital, I have to hold my mom's hand. I'm almost 17 years old. And I have to hold my mother's hand because I'm scared of hospitals. So, yeah. Next thing in here is the Clear Scalp and Hair Therapy Complete Care Nourishing Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. Um, I don't have dandruff. I used to, but I don't now, so. But, um, I've heard, uh, it's Kirsten. Ray, shut up. What is... I don't even know what that was. My phone just beeped and I don't even know. There's nothing on the screen, so like... Anyways, excuse me. Um, I hear It's Kirsten talk about this all the time. Weird fact, I really hope she's not watching this. Um, if she is, maybe she'll take this as flattery, but I watch her videos, like, while I go to sleep. I know that's weird, but, like, if I kind of want to sleep, but I'm not really tired yet, I'll, like, turn off all the lights, and I'll, like, put on her videos, and I'll just watch her videos. And I actually love them. It's not like they're boring and they put me to sleep. I just love watching them. And, um, in every, I've seen every single one of her empties videos embarrassing I know um but and like almost every empties video she has a bottle of this shampoo and she talks about how much she loves this shampoo so I suppose I'll try it because I mean obviously I'm gonna try it like I'm not gonna give away free shampoo oh wow that has a really nice scent which is weird because usually dandruff shampoos smell like really medically that's really floral oh wow I really like that I like that Okay, well, I'm excited to try this out. Thank you, Walmart. Next thing in here, yes! Okay, this is a little sample of the Neutrogena Cool Dry Sports Sunscreen Lotion um, with SPF, SPF 70. Damn. Oh my god. I actually love sunscreen, I will not lie. Sunscreen is my main B. Um, like, people make fun of me because I put on sunscreen, like, during the day, every day. Unless I'm staying inside, like, literally all day, then I'll be, like, eh. But even during the winter, I put on sunscreen. Like, not all over my body, but just on my face. Because I'm, like, so afraid of aging. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I had lipstick on my teeth. Um, so I'm really excited to try this. I really love the Neutrogena Clear Face Sunscreen. I love all their sunscreens. My mom loves their sunscreens. I've been using these since I was, like, four. So, and this has 70 SPF, which is really awesome. So... SPF is always something that should be, should happen. People are always like, oh my god, SPF, whatever. And I'm like, no, not whatever. SPF is a big deal, hun. Yes! This is the St. Ives Blemish Control Apricot Scrub. Ooh, it's oil-free salicylic acid, ac ac acid, um, salicylic acne medication. So that's cool. This is like a face scrub. Um, it's a blemish control, and it's made with apricots. You know what apricots are? A natural exfoliant that won't pollute. They don't have micro beads. I love Walmart for giving me this. Though, for real though, I would have cried if they gave me something with micro beads. I would have been like, mm. And then I'd be like, I don't want to pass it along to my mom, because then she'll just pollute with it. Ooh, that feels really, really nice. It's like, it's a face scrub. That feels really nice. So is this just like a scrub or is it like, do you wash your face with it? I think it's just a scrub. Yeah, okay. So this is a face scrub, which is really awesome because exfoliating is super important. And salicylic acid is good for your skin. And I have acne, believe it or not. Um, I'm one of the cursed teenagers who has acne. So I'm really excited to try that. Ooh, it feels really nice. Like, oh my god. It's crazy, the things that they make exfoliants out of. Like, I, you know, sugar scrubs and salt scrubs I've always heard of. Mmm, Melly's a really nice fragrance, too. 
It's like it smells like apricots, but it's a really nice light fruity fragrance. Uh, but I always find it funny. Like they make scrubs out like nutshells and like dried apricots. I don't know. I've always thought it was cool. Next thing in here is ooh, 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 this is um the NYC Liquid Lip Shine Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade. Rivington Rose. I have to swatch it. It looks so pretty. I actually really love NYC. Um, well, that's an understatement because I don't have any of their products, but I've always wanted to try their products because everyone raves about them. I love them from afar. I just, I don't know. Every time I'm at Walmart, I'm either like trying to get myself not to buy any more makeup or I'm looking for like new stuff that has just recently come out. So yeah. All right, ready? Ooh, this wand is pretty too. It's like, you see that's like a paddle. It's a really pretty color. It's like a muted pink. Oh my God, this smells like vanilla too. It smells like a MAC lipstick. Um, this is like a really pretty muted pink. So it's like more of a winter goss, gloss, goss, goss. It's more of a winter gloss color, but it's still really pretty. And I mean, you know, I don't follow the season rules and makeup anyways, so that'll be exciting to try out. Oh, this is funny. Okay, this is a perfume sample of the U and I fragrance by One Direction. Um, the bottle looks super intense. A fun fact, uh, freshman year, I was obsessed with One Direction, like, literally obsessed. And sometimes it still kind of comes back to me, like, I'll be at work and they'll play, like, a One Direction song and I'll just be like... And then, you know, my, like, the, my customers are like, what the hell is wrong with her? And I'm just, like, skidding through the restaurant, like, can we fall one more time? No. Low-key. I was low-key obsessed with One Direction, so. Yeah. I'm excited to smell this. I always wanted the R moment. Was that it? Was that, it was it one thing? Or was it one moment, R moment? I don't remember. Their first fragrance that they came out with, it's, this is not their first, but. Yeah. Oh, that's so salty. They put Zane on the cover of this. Oh, poor Zane. Poor Zane. I'm glad that I got a One Direction before Zane left because I don't think I'd have been able to take it. All right. Let's smell this. Smells like, um, it smells kind of musky. It kind of smells like a boy. It has hints of fruit in it. I don't know. It's weird. But that one spritz took like that much of the sample. So hopefully that'll last enough for me to decide if I like it or not. Because, you know, I could deal with it. The issue with celebrity perfumes is that they don't last very long, so I'll only buy a celebrity perfume if I really, really, really like it. Like the Lady Gaga fame one. It's like my life. But I think I'll try I'll try it out. I could probably get used to it. Next thing in here is some coupons. Uh, tips, tricks, tools with $6 worth of savings inside. So there's some coupons on real techniques, eco tools, and essential tools. Makeup brushes. And it has some stuff about makeup brushes and it tells you how to use the makeup brushes so that's cute I guess um then the last thing in here is a foil sample this is the Jergens uh, the Jergens natural glow um three days to glow moisturizer and this is a self tanner I've never self tanned before ever and I'm a little scared to use this because it's, um, the packets are really tiny and I don't think I'll be able to cover my entire body with this. So, like, what if I start using it and then I only get my arm and then my arm is, like, really dark and then the rest of my body's white? I don't know. Um, I might pass this along to my mom just because she's really into self-tanning, but... Um, it's cute that they included this. I just don't think it's enough to, like, really tan your entire body. You know what I mean? 
But yeah, so that is it for the Walmart Beauty Box. I will link it below um, if you want to check it out. I will link below. It's Kirsten's channel if you want to check her out because she's wonderful. Like, literally God-like. Um, and yeah, so actually we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven trial size products. Um, that like deluxe size sample products. Well, this is a full size. Um, but even so, that's a lot for five dollars. Um, you see, you have to like kind of look at the box in a different lighting. I mean, because we only really got one thing of like makeup, but I mean, all this other stuff. Looks really awesome, and I'm probably going to end up loving it. So you guys will see if I love it when I do an updates video. So yeah, um, I won't bore you. I won't turn into a train wreck like I usually do. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like it if you give it a thumbs up if you liked it. There we go. Um, comment below what you want to see next. And subscribe if you haven't already. I would love you forever if you did. If you are a subscriber, I love you guys. I love my subscribers. My my 17 subscribers. I love each and every one of you because you take the time out of your day to subscribe to a piece of shit YouTuber like me. Alright, well, um, that is it, and I will see you guys later. Bye!